For this back routine, I'm gonna show you with and without rubber bands. So that'll be my with rubber band section. This will be my without rubber band section. So once again, I don't want anything to get in the way of you not being active. Even if you have to do bicep curls with cans of soup, just make sure they're the same soup and the same size can. But there's always a way to be active and the main reason for all these videos is to show that if you're creative enough and you want health bad enough, that there's ways to keep your body in shape, give your body what it needs and be in the best condition possible to handle anything that the world throws at it. Health is at the core of everything we need to do everything we wanna do in life, whether that be fight disease or promote health. Health is part of the answer to cancer. Health is part of the answer to diabetes. Health is part of the answer to the immune system. Health is part of the answer to being stronger to handle what's in our environment. It's health, health, health. So let's stay on it. I don't wanna hear about people being inactive because they're at the house. There's plenty to do. If I was at home all the time, I'd be in the best shape in the world because all I'd be doing is exercising. So um, we wanna change, change the game a little bit and let people know that if you're at home, you have more time to get healthier than ever. So don't waste that opportunity. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do back and posture with rubber bands and back and posture without rubber bands. Anytime we exercise, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that our spine is in the right position. I never work a muscle at the cost of a spine. I always make sure that the spine is my top priority because it's protecting my brain and nervous system and because it's the foundation of all movement. And then I build muscles around it to protect it and move me through this world better. But I never do that at the cost of the spine because if you damage the spine, injure the spine, or the spine begins to irritate the nervous system or it becomes degenerative or becomes injured because of your exercise, it stops everything you wanna do. That's why it's joint first, then flexibility, then strength, then balance is the four foundational components of movement. So for pull-ups, um, just holding straight, pulling straight through and up. If body weight is too much, there is always, always an option. I could stand on something and squat up. Oh, I don't have much room here. I could find lower bars. Somewhere, let me find lower bars. You just look around. You find something. And you find a way to incorporate it. So I could do this and I could use my legs as much as possible and still do my back. You'll find things around the house, maybe a fence or something. Anything you could do to keep that back strong. Rubber bands make it pretty simple because you could put these things over top doors or in door frames and you just go and get a little tension on it and you could do the pull down and what you want to do is you're trying to bring your elbows together behind you. Push your chest out, pull your shoulders back. This is great for posture and great for back. But my head is straight, my body's straight, all the way out my tail is straight by bottom. can also pull, change the angle. These are great, I'm pulling the shoulder blades back together. These are great for posture. All day long we're rounding, so to open up that chest and strengthen the back is great for posture and great for the back muscles. You can even get closer. You can work the back of the shoulders and the upper back as well. You can pull and hold. You can do reps. You can pull down. So just get some light rubber bands and try some different things. You can also do range of motion stretching. Just to stretch the shoulder. I hope you're starting to get the, the feeling and the idea behind what all this is. I'm just out here finding ways to move my body stretch my muscles, put some resistance against them so they could grow and they're better ready for life. If I was just to get in a machine that only did one motion and protected me in every other motion, I wouldn't be prepared for life. I'd be getting the muscles strong, but it wouldn't be functional because life doesn't have you sit in a chair, put a weight into a plate 
and move it in one direction. Life has you moving in all different directions. So those are all the different ways you should do stuff. And you should definitely become more flexible and strong at the jobs you do and the things you do most or the things you love to do because that requires you to be a pro athlete in that category. If you treat your body like a pro athlete with the things you want it to do, you'll prevent injury, you'll perform your activities better, and you'll be able to perform them again tomorrow and have it benefit your health at the same time.